More EA Sports is lies. Let's go ahead and talk about them, guys. So, yesterday, EA Sports, because you know EA Sports can never do anything correct. It's almost to a point where I should be laughing, but I shouldn't be because we spent money in this game. But they released the Theme Team Remix promo. And no, other than the fact that training packs were broken, that's not even the worst of it. Surprisingly enough, training packs were 55,000 training, and the odds of poor golden ticket was a set at 2% odds. That's not even the worst thing, okay? I'm actually making that not the worst thing. EA Sports released the Quick Sell players. And if you tried to quick sell the 99 overall punter, the quick sell event uh, amount was set to 1598 coins, which is not what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be set at 5,000 training. 5,000 remix coins. So EA Sports could not even get the quick sell correctly. Now, I quick sell like 12 of them because I didn't realize that that was not supposed to be the quick sell value. I thought the quick sell value was fifteen ninety eight, whatever, and EA Sports just wanted to spend four hundred thousand training, or sorry, a coin per card. So I have all these cards right here with fifteen thousand remix coins, because I thought that was like EA Sports is saying f you to you guys. This is what we're gonna do. So I didn't think much of it until I was alerted by a couple of subscribers that. The 97s was supposed to have that quick sell value, not the 99s. So EA Sports claims that they fixed the issue and everyone who has been affected, the make goods has now been distributed to three hours ago. Can you guess who did not get any make goods for all that crap? Yep, that's me. I'm him, Ithy. I'm him. I don't care that the make good, like, I didn't get any make goods, okay? At the end of the day, I really could care less about the stupid game. This game is literally just a scam at this point. But, don't lie. That's all I gotta say. Don't put out a tweet and lie. The best thing about EA Sports is, they mess up, they F up, they don't know what they're doing, and then they just go quiet and they don't talk. Just keep to your tradition. Just don't talk. Because when you go on there and lie and say you, you affect, you uh, help people and you're affected and you fix the issue, you're lying. There are so many people commenting on that tweet saying, nope, I didn't get any fix. I didn't get anything. Ugh. I hate this company so much. I'm sorry, but I literally hate this company so much. Then there was another glitch. If you bought, well, actually, let's see if they actually fixed it. Nope, they still haven't fixed this yet. By the way, this one they still haven't fixed either. It says 92 plus overall, meaning that you can pull a 92 or above. Let's click on it. It's a choice of one 92 overall team remix player. Why can't you just use a brain cell and not put a plus on the card art? This is a multi-billion dollar company. And they don't have enough developers with a second of a brain, maybe like a sliver of brain, to say, that doesn't look right when we have a 92 plus and it's a 92 overall guaranteed. I opened this up one time thinking that it was actually a 92 all the way up to a 99. Like you could pull one of them because you can pull the 97s and 99. So I was like, oh, bet I can pull the 97, 99s out of this. Let me just do this. Nope, you can't. You can't pull a 92. You can't pull anything above a 92. It's a fantasy pack of just 92s. <sighs> More EA Sports lies and glitches and problems because they don't know how to run their own dang game. This is so freaking pathetic. And I'm trying not to complain. I'm trying to be like, okay, whatever. But this is so stupid. How can you be this bad at running a game? I mean, I have not complained all year to this level because I just can't understand. I understand now why Gut Fox quit. Gut Fox quit Man 23, and this is the crap. Why? Because at this point, it's almost like a meme. It's a joke. They can't do anything correct. Every time they try, they just absolutely royally mess it up. Oh, guys, by the way, they fixed training packs. Well, kind of. So, if you guys do not know, 
when training packs, last time they went up in price. Not now. They're 55k, by the way. That's great, EA. They also have a 2% chance to pull a golden ticket. I pulled 3 million coins worth of these. They didn't pull one golden ticket. But when they when it used to be, they used to be, I think, 20,000. When they went up to 32,000, they actually removed the 90. You see that 89 to 98 overall right there? That little beautiful Series Relux card? Yeah. They removed the 98 and they put 97. Oh, no, no, 96. So they said you could only pull, when it went to 32,000, they said you could only pull a 89 to 96 overall Series Redux player. Then, when these came out, 55K, they made it up to a 98. They went from, you could pull anything above an 89 overall Series Redux player, right? With the 30, when it was 20,000 training. 32,000? Well, you can only pull an 89 to 96, and then when it's 55k, you can pull an 89 to 98. Based on what I understand, though, you can still pull a 99. They just don't know how to run their own dang game. They don't know how to put things in context that are correct with the programming of their game. And I understand you might say, well, they just, you know, it's, it takes a lot to make a video game. You cannot mess up this much. These are small, minuscule things. This is a picture you make in Photoshop, and they put it in the database of the game. That is not hard to do. Like, you cannot tell me that a multi-billion dollar company cannot do basic things. This is so stupid. And again, I'm not trying to make every video of me complaining about this company, but it seems like every single time the most basic things possible, they can't get right. And then they do make rights, and they don't even help all the players. They help maybe 5% of the players that were affected. And you know what? I don't even think they helped anyone. I think what they did there was they just fixed a quick sell and said, We helped everyone. <laughs> everyone got correct. No, we didn't. Because you guys don't know how to put out make rights correctly. Every time make rights gets released, half the community... Oh, that's it. Not, not half. At least 10% of the community doesn't even get the make rights. 10% of the communities don't even get what they claim that they're fixing. This is why I got Fox quit 923. Because there's it's not the AP limit. It's not the problems with, you know, the gameplay. It's the trade block is still going when you have a game that is about trading cards. You couldn't fix it. You couldn't just take the time and say, Oh, we're just going to make it so 10 cards now can be traded a day. So farm accounts are gone. It wasn't about... It's literally glitch after glitch after glitch after glitch. This is not even a freaking joke. This is a scam of a game. Fully scam of the game. Gosh. And you know what's funny? They're probably not going to respond to me. They're probably going to block me. Whenever you tweet at EA Sports anything negative, the way they respond, and you can ask like any YouTuber out there, because most YouTubers are banned or blocked by EA Sports, they usually block you when you comment anything or tweet anything bad to them. Even if it's a small, minuscule thing, I think, like, I saw some YouTubers tweeted at them and said, like, hey, listen, this promo sucks. You tweet out, this promo sucks, EA, you're banned. You're blocked. You're not banned for the game, but you're blocked on Twitter. They block people who say anything negative. So I'm probably going to get blocked by EA Sports for saying that. And I don't really care at this point. Because I have not been vocal on Twitter in any way aggressive toward them. But at this point, this is my final straw, okay? Okay. This is, the, this is the hump that broke the camel's back. You guys constantly do this. And again, I'm not sitting here because even if, like, for example, they did correct. I, I should get 20,000 remix coins. But even if they did correctly and fixed it and correctified the issue. I thought for a second they maybe gave me something. You can't keep messing up like this and expect people to just sit there and take it. At this point, this is what Madden 24 is going to be. And I know I saw, I saw Gut Fox's video. He talked about how, you know, hopefully Madden 24 is better than Trade Block is back. 
Madden 24 would not be better, guys. Madden 24 is going to be the same hunk of junk this is, but it's going to get worse. Because Madden 22 was the downfall. Madden 22, the end of Madden 22, EA Sports started messing up packs. They started messing up players. They started really just absolutely fumbling the bag. They banned half the community at the beginning of Madden 22, and it was down ever since then. And Madden 23, it, it got no better. Madden 23 was even worse. And Madden 24 is going to be even worse than that. They're at a point now where EA Sports realizes that they can just milk this cash cow called Ultimate Team as much as humanly possible with no remorse, with no problems, with nothing that could stop them. And they're going to continue to do it, and they don't care. They're not going to give any effort. They're not going to try to fix anything because they don't care. It is what it is. See you guys in the next one. Peace.